So far, we've been looking at codes that are really pretty simple. The robot just reads line after line after line and is never really able to make any decisions for itself. Uh, very clear-cut, easy to follow code. Uh, so we're going to try out a different type of construct that actually allows the robot to make a decision. Uh, my pseudocode here tells me the robot's going to drive forward at half speed as long as the bump switch is pressed. So depending on whether the bump switch is pressed, the robot's making a decision. Do I drive or do I not drive? So to do this, I'm actually going to bring in a new coding construct from my function library under C constructs and control structures called a while loop. I drag a while loop into my task main and I've got a couple of things to define. One is the condition and two is the body. Now the body is what I actually want to happen, in this case for the robot to drive forward at half speed. So I'm going to take that piece of pseudocode and I'm going to copy it down here into the body of the while loop. Now it's only going to perform this action if the condition is true. In this case, the condition is that the bump switch has to be pressed. So I get rid of the word condition and I'm actually going to put in a command sensor value and in the square braces I define which sensor I've got to put in bump switch and then outside the square braces what the value of that bump switch needs to be in this case one so if the condition is true if the bump switch actually equals one then we jump inside the while loop and perform the action in the body so I need start motor commands in here and I'm going to define my variables really quick. Now I'm going to format my document. It's going to indent everything and show me how things nest together and it's going to make it easier for me to read. But as a robot I go line by line until I reach this while loop and I ask, is this statement true? Is the bump switch equal to one? Is it being pressed? If so, I jump inside the while loop and I perform the actions that are in here, just starting the motors. But I need a little bit more in here. I need a wait time and I need to stop the, uh, the motors. What this does is it stops the motors from just running indefinitely. It gives me a a wait time of one second and that means that every one second this loop is going to end and it's going to check the truth value of the condition again. If it didn't do that you could take your hand off the bump switch and it would continue to run because it's never told to come back here and check that this statement is true. So every one second it checks. Is this statement true? Is it pressed? If yes, then run the motors for a second. If yes, run the motors for a second. If yes, run the motors for a second. As soon as this while statement is not true, as soon as it's false, as soon as it's equal to zero, somebody's not pressing the bump switch anymore, it's going to skip the while loop entirely, and in this case, end the program. But what if we don't want the program to end here? What if we want to be able to make the robot stop and go by pressing that bump switch and not have the program terminate the first time that we let go? I'm adding to my pseudocode a statement, this happens forever, and I'm going to show you a different way that you can use a while loop that is pretty handy for making, making something happen again and again and again until we decide to stop it. I need to add another while loop to the program, and I'm going to take everything else that I have in my code, the entire code, and I'm going to cut it and paste it into the body of this new while loop. So now everything, including the while loop, is my action, and I'm going to set my condition to something that's always true, such as 1 equals 1. So as a robot, first thing I jump into is this while loop, because of course the condition is true, 1 is equal to 1, and then I run the next while loop. As long as the bump switch is pressed, then I jump into that next while loop, I perform the actions inside, and I continue to cycle like before. But in this case, if the bump switch is not pressed and I skip this while loop, I'm still inside the other one. 
still inside the one where the condition is always true. So the program still continues to run. Now next time I press the bump switch, I'll jump back into that second while loop again. So in this way I'm able to control whether or not the robot's driving by just pressing or letting go of the bump switch and I can do this forever. So here we have two different methods of using a while loop to allow a robot to make decisions. 